Hey YouTube, it's me Jarvis Nails and I know, I know, I've been MIA, I mean MIA because I've been really busy. Not only that, I just finished having my granddaughter and um, yes, my daughter Mercedes just had a little girl. Um, and also last month my daughter graduated and today is my husband's birthday. So, I know I had a lot of um, questions about this um, Aquarian Spoon. Um, um, really, my friend has sent me to, in his eyes, I'm um, Queens, to check out her video because she had done these Aquarian, but there was not a tutorial on these whatsoever. Um... I like the idea of it, so I decided to try it. I know I had a lot of ladies ask me how to do it or how to do it, but I didn't have the chance not even to do a video on it. Not only that, is that I've been really, really busy. But um, let's stop talking, and um, I want to say if you are interested interested on these spoons, um, she does sell them, so... um. I will be putting her name somewhere down in the description box. You could go check her out if you would like a spoon or whatever. She does sell them. Um, like I said, I did not come up with this idea. I just decided to try it. I seen it. I mean, it took me like a hot minute to figure it out. <laughs> because it sure did take me a hot minute to figure it out. But this is the way mine came out. And I actually left it like in the rough side because I think it looks cuter, I think. I don't know. You tell me. But this is my first spoon that I have made. And as you can tell, you see that? And then I had a couple of attempts before, you know, like I have one more here that I am going to finish fixing up. And this one's supposed to be in, but somewhere around there that was the first one that I made it had I forgot to seal it somewhere around here so I have to okay right here I forgot to seal it right there and just decorate it the way I want okay the purpose of this video that I am going to show you how to do your own or just you know show you step by step what do you need to make your aquarium spoon the first thing you will need is Yes, people. Two clear spoon. I like these because these come like with a little design on in front of them, but it has to be two clear spoons. All right, your clear acrylic. I use this because um, I do not have a syringe, so I put my oil in here, and that's the way I pour it inside the spoon. You will see how that happens. Um, a little dapping dish so you can put your acrylic on there and um i use for my for the brush uh number six this is a 3d brush that i have i use that and yes i use a crazy glue just to keep it steady right there and also i have the amazing little spoon right here and i take a little bit and i pour it inside the mix that i will be using today will be this one and all I'm going to do is show you, okay, now that this one is here, all I'm going to show you is the basic. I'm not going to show you how to decorate your spoon because I guess once you get to this point right here, I know you would love to decorate it on your own way, the way you like it, or you know you know what I'm talking about, but um, I will leave it just like this. I'm just going to show you how to seal it, and I think... That's the whole point right there, just to learn how to seal your um your aqua spoon, right? Yeah, something in there, right? But anyway, I want to say thank you to In His Eyes I'm Queen for coming up with these amazing spoons. And to me, it was kind of fun to do, but I, I it takes a lot of time. So I'm one that I'm I'm I I, I don't know. But for this one, I'm just going to do it for y'all. So I'm going to show you how to do your own. I hope this worked out for you. And um, yeah, let's get started. First thing you're going to do is grab one spoon. Okay. What I do is I snap it 
I grab it from here and grab it from here and I wait let me go this way better and I snap it see that see that I just snap it what I do is I leave those point I do not um shape them down I'm gonna tell you why I don't so that's what you do with that piece okay in this part I'll grab this side right here turn your spoon to the back I'm gonna bring you down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing okay as you can tell the spoon is like this so you're gonna even that spoon you're gonna turn your spoon around because you want this piece as you can tell right here it has like a entrance so this is the spoon the front of the spoon and this is the back of the spoon so in the back of this spoon you're gonna turn to the back and you're gonna measure that together first okay once you have it measured you're gonna come this is where the crazy glue come people because you don't want this moving around while you put in your acrylic you just want this to be a study right so what I do is I come right here right at the tip right here and I put two dabs of crazy glue one oops and two okay and I want that to be steady for me so I'm gonna do it so it's, I'm gonna glue that part right there okay so I'm gonna let that dry and you're gonna see okay as you can tell it's not gonna move around because it's glued up right so what I do next is I hold it because as you can tell it has like a little little gap so you're gonna you know like put it together that you can see the whole thing straighten up so what I do is here is I come let me just move you back a little bit I come and I separate the spoon a little bit just to even it out because I want that water to flow through the spoon inside so I'm gonna leave that gap so this is where I come with my um my little art brush, wet it in your mind, my everyone knows that, yeah. And then I come and I um make sure that when you pick up your bee, that it's not too wet or too dry, just right in the middle. That is that you know I like to put it just like this. Don't worry about the white powder because I am putting this between there so it can hold it. Hold up. <laughs> right there. So I'm going to let that piece dry right here because I want to separate that right there. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'll be back. The reason why, like I said, I want a gap into it so I can have that you know float with the um glitters that I put inside you know just to give it a little bit more room so I'm gonna let that dry and I'll be right okay as that dry what I'm gonna do I'm gonna continue on that wall and I'm gonna put more in there you know just make sure like I said make sure that that bee is not wet or dry or you know like just perfect that it would just go right on top into that metal you see that and then you're gonna brush it like in a smooth surface so it could even out with the rest of the you know sorry I was offering but with the rest of the um, acrylic you have on there okay then what I do is I continue on throughout the whole spoon this is where it gets good at people and I do it with a little brush because if I do it with a big one girls oh my god I had globs like all over I'm not kidding I'm a messy person when it comes down to stuff like this so yeah and I like to blow with it because it dries it up and you know it gives me that still you can tell see that then you're gonna seal all that up all that up you're gonna seal it okay so I'm gonna just show you this side how to seal this side and then I'm gonna do this side off camera
because I know you already know that basic okay so like I said you're gonna continue make sure that that B is not wet or too dry okay so you're gonna place it set it blow it if you choose to and brush down okay then I'm just gonna even it right here out with the rest of the credit okay Remember, don't put too much acrylic because you still got to put your, um, you know, your acrylic, I mean, your, um, your raw mix or, or your mix, whatever mix you're going to put. Do not, um, push it into because, like I said, if the bead is too wet, you don't want it to go in, you know, so nicely dry so it could just, you know, be smoothing out. Yeah, I'll go this way because I <laughs> think it's cooler this way. So I don't know what, you know, it's difficult when you do it in camera. Or oh, if you're doing a nail, it's more different than this. But I hope I'm angled right and I'm not off cameras that child ladies can see this. Yeah, this is fun. This is like a, I say, this is like a relaxer to me right now. Like this, I could relax. Like just stay focused, you know. And I want to make sure that I stay on to there. You know, like on the top. I don't want to go to the side or nothing. I'm sorry if this video is going to be a little long, but hey. Oh my God, when I seen the spoon invention, this, I was like, oh my God. And I did the, um, I have done the brush. And when um in his eyes um queen came out with this, I was like, oh my I need to figure that I need to figure that out and do it. Like seriously. And I did. I figured that I was so many spoons and so many crazy stuff that I was inventing here. And um I I can't, you know, I did it. <laughs> I was happy that I did it. This is the problem that you need to focus. Make sure that boy is not that wet so it won't go through. You see that crack, how it is open? You don't want it to go through there. So you got to make sure that it's nice and, you know, enough that it won't go through. Not too wet, not too dry, like I say. Just perfect. Okay. I want to even it now because... Later on, I am going to put a little bit on um, some of my mix on it. So. And I'm not going to do no editing or nothing. I'm just going to leave it as is so you could see how long it takes. Just, I mean, maybe somebody could be faster than me of doing this. But I think it takes a long time and dedication to do these these spoons right here so I'm just doing it for fun this is fun to me and then I started when I did the spoon I mean the the brush I was like oh no wait a minute I seen this when my friend showed me it she told me in his eyes I'm queen she had done it she was like oh my god I need to do one of those I was like let me go check it out so when I did check it out and I seen it I was looking at how the hell she did that how the hell? So I was breaking my head, figuring it out, and figuring it out until I figured it out. And I was telling her, I told my best friend, oh my God, I figured it out. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Because she was telling me too. She was like, I think it's with two spoons, Jahira, but I don't know how. What kind of two spoons are they? So we was figuring it out. And then one day I was cooking, and I found these spoons inside my, um, inside my drawer for my spoons in the kitchen because they were from my daughter's party that I had for her Swiss 16. And oh my God, I was like, I found some clean. I was so excited. And then I decided to do the first one. I gave it to my best friend so she could have it. I said, this one is for you. And she was like, oh my God, you did it. I was like, it, it took me a long time, but I did it. I figured it out. I mean, you know, and it was a little breaker, but you know, so. 
Okay, I'm almost done. Now, if you want to, uh, um, you know, like I said, I'm just going to show you the um, basic on it already. You know, like only the basic, just the ceiling part. The rest is like you want to decorate it the way you want to decorate it. You hook it up the way you want to hook it up, you know. Everybody has different tastes. So, and I hope I'm not offering because, you know, ladies, I'm nail person. You know, I like to do nails. But when I seen this, you know, I just wanted to try it out. And that's it. Just try it out. Well, I won't be doing these seconds. I take it takes time. Where am I? Seven minutes and I'm still on one side. And that's not the half of it. So Okay. I see this part already. And <laughs> Now, count another seven minutes on the other side. That's like 14 minutes, okay? Just on sitting. So I, what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to get off camera and I am going to seal the other side. And then I'm going to show you how to seal the top and how to put chickadees, okay? Be right back. Okay, now I'm back. As you can tell, both sides are sealed. Okay, very important because it happened to me <laughs> and my first spoon that I did. Make sure that it is all sealed. Well, I'm talking about all sealed acrylic, dry, and all that. Because, ladies, I'm telling you, I guess I had a hole around here, <laughs> a little boo boo over here, and so on and so on. But you don't want that. And, like I said, you separate it a little bit because, look. Now you have a lot of space, which you're going to be putting the stuff inside that hole right there. So that's what I'm going to show you now, how to fill up that hole. Okay. In the beginning of the video, I showed you that um, you do need baby oil. So my baby oil is this one I'm using. Got this one in the dollar store. And I only use baby oil. I don't use nothing else, okay? Um, just baby oil. Um, what else? Now we're gonna need the little spoon. Sorry, I'm drinking something. And the uh, um, the mix you're gonna put inside. So what I do for these spoons, I will grab only one spoon of that and put it inside and the reason why I have it on a white piece of paper is because I want to pick up whatever drops so that's why that the white piece of paper my background is white today and try not to put a lot because when you put a lot it's so difficult for it to move around and you want to you know see your art or whatever inside and have fun moving it around right so I was just trying to grab this. So what I do is this is like a, I, I call it like a little slot right here. So I'm going to pull that into there and I'm going to start banging and and so it can start flowing inside. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. And then as you can tell, it's inside. All right. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some ba more baby oil in here as you can tell. <laughs> I got still baby oil in here. But I'm going to put some in here. Oops, sorry. What's that looking? So, yeah. It's good for your hands. Smelling like a baby here. Mm. So what I do, I pinch this a little bit right here. I pinch it like this. And as you can tell, like I said, right here is like a... I call it like a little seepy thing here, you know? So it could go right in. So I'm going to start pouring it into that. And it will not make a mess, okay? Making sure my spoon is full. It's going in. It's going in. And if it's full, that's okay. But it's not. This is a better way of doing it, I guess. You see, it's getting full. So, yeah, it needs more. So, let's put some more in there. No. 
okay another thing make sure that it's not full to the top that's exactly what I did right now you do not want that okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take some of that out because you don't want a lot in it because you want your um your decorations to you know move around okay so I just pulled out a little bit let me just put because I pulled out a lot so I'm just gonna throw a little bit more in there okay okay I'm gonna leave it right there because I want this to float around and I want it to move around with no problems so here goes the good part how to seal that big hole I take my time sealing the big hole because <laughs> I don't want that acrylic to touch the baby oil because if it does touch the baby oil it's gonna look crabby and it already happened to me. This is why I'm saying it. <sighs> sorry. Thirsty. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I hope you can see this. Okay. So the first thing I do. Hold on. Let me just clean this little surface right here. Make it, you know. My hands, my hands are all oil. They're all oily and stuff. I take this step by step. You know what I mean? I don't rush into putting acrylic here because, like I said, it's, it's a big hole. And try not to have the be too wet once again. Not too wet, not too dry, okay? Okay, my mama. mama. I'm dip it in my mom right now. And I'm going to use the same brush that I've been using the whole time. And I'm gonna pick up a bean, make sure it's dry, cause I like my beans dry. And I'm gonna place that one right here. Like, you know, trying to close it up. And I like to blow in it because when you blow in the acrylic, it, it tends to, you know, get a little harder than it is, okay? So I'm gonna blend this part, I hope you can see, okay? I'm gonna blend this down right here, so, okay? Try not to do it too thick because, like I said, you're going to be having um, your your mix on it, too, I guess. You know, just showing you the basic, the rest. Y'all can have fun with it. Yeah, yeah, because I sure have fun doing this brush. I mean, this spoon. So, now I'm just going to sit it. I'm not going to move it or nothing. I'm going to blow on it now. As you can tell, I guess, like a different color. Now it's not shining, right? So now I got the vantage of just to close that part right there. See that? And as you can tell, I have that little piece right here, right? So I'm going to grab another bean, make sure it's not too wet or not too dry. And as you can tell, see that? Yeah, it's all right if it has a little acrylic like that because you're going to put that one in there, okay? So I'm going to smooth it out. Smooth it out. Do not put no pressure on that B right there at all. Okay? You're just smoothing it out. That's it. Now blow. I blow on it because it gets shiny. I mean, it gets... You see how shiny it looks? Like, it gives it like a little... See, it like quicker, you know? But me to make sure that this is seal i'm just gonna throw a little extra like through the sides of it because remember you're gonna throw your um your mix onto it so you don't have to overpower it with the clear and plus you're gonna be filing that's the problem that's why i always say make sure because when you're filing you are taking some of that acrylic off of the thing I mean of the spoon so you gotta make sure that that's I know sorry you have to make sure that that's part is I'm talking about completely sealed to top and test it out and whatever you're gonna do with it 
what I would I, I would um say is to start off sealing your spoon first. After you finish sealing your spoon, then put your oil and whatever you're gonna put inside, and then decorate your spoon however you want to decorate it whatever you want to put because you want to make sure that 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 oil is sealed inside because i was like oh my god at first i did it with the acrylic and i i, I that was a wrong that was a fail and just acrylic i did it with and then i was like oh my god how i'm gonna do this how i'm gonna do this and then my second attempt it was this one and didn't come out it didn't spilled it didn't nothing so i was kind of happy that i did do my first aqua spoon so here goes this is my second one which i am gonna fix it. it has the same one in here i am gonna fix it but this is the way you do the spoon i only show you the basic because oh wait a minute let me show you the rest see that hold on oh wait 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 just want to make sure because remember we put the glitter in Mm. This is kind of fun to do. Let me don't get me wrong. It, it, it is fun, but for me to keep doing the mm, mm, this this is work. And when I was sitting the other side, I was off camera. So and you imagine count those minutes in there too. Okay. So here it goes. As you can see, see that my spoon is done look at that look at that you see that this is why i say don't put too much oil towards the top because and then it won't float like this and also don't overpower with so much inside just put little bit of stuff that you know that it's gonna move around and you won't have a problem with it and you want to see that cuteness go round and round well, ladies, I hope you like and enjoy. And like always, I talk to you what later.